simple, easy layout here. Bend it, slide the swivel down, and clamp it closed. These frogs are absolutely ridiculous. Now that is a fish, people. Right there. Just the release. Beautiful fish. Hey guys, you're Tom Bassman here. Um, I've uh, I put up my contest video a couple a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and um, I asked you to comment on uh, what you something you wanted to talk me to talk about with you, um, something that you haven't you don't know a lot about fit with um, anything fishing, anything about bass, and uh, a lot of you guys commented on something you want to learn about is jigs. So that's what I'm talking to you about today. Um, Try not to make it as long a long video. Um, try to get you as much information as I can. Um, so we're gonna start off by uh, talking to you a little bit about what a jig is. Um, a jig is a uh, wired hook with a weighted head. So by the eyelet, there is a weight um, consisting anywhere from a sixteenth all the way to a full ounce and above, even ounce and a half. And then you have a hook, different sizes hooks depending on the weight of the jig. And then you have a weed guard, which prevents um, uh, the hook from snagging on weeds um, just what it says the name of it is what it does so and these jigs can range in different size you have different styles of jigs you have um, casting jigs you have swim jigs you have football head jigs and then um, you have I forget what this one is called but it's like a weird shaped um, it doesn't have a cone shape to it it's like a flat bottom oblonged shape jig um, I forget the name of that sorry but um, that's you have that's maybe most three different types you have casting um, flipping jigs which are casting jigs as well and then swim jigs and football head jigs so your um, your sole purpose of using a jig is fishing on the bottom um, you're putting a weight um, with some sort of trailer and a skirt and what that's imitating on the bottom of the of the, of the a lake or pond is going to be a uh, a crawfish or some type of bug or something on the bottom that's uh, moving around and um, it's a, a big profile bait as you can see looking at some of these here um, you're looking at a big profile it's nothing small nothing um, you know like a worm it's big it's chunky um, and, and you're gonna jig it off the bottom now jigging is um, uh, twitching your rod up to pop the jig so you're gonna pop it pop it and it's gonna sink back down and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna sit in, like this and the fish is gonna see that and the skirts gonna be floating and you're gonna pop it up back down pop it up back down and you're gonna move it along the bottom and that's gonna create and then you have your your um just for example your crawfish on the back of it that's gonna be moving and making flaps and and causing uh commotion in the water and that's what's gonna trigger the bass to strike so that's um, what a, a jig does and uh, how, how you're going to be using it. You're going to be popping it, you're going to change your variations and the amount of times you pop your jig, um, the, the, how fast, if you want to do a long drawn out or a quick, um, and if you want to do like a couple one, two, three or a one, two, three um, swim jigs, your retrieval speed, um, the depth you're retrieving at, how fast you let it sink. Now, a swim jig is a whole different thing. I'm not going to talk about swim jigs. I'm just talking about um, regular jigs. I'll do another video on swim jigs and um, bladed jigs like chatterbait, stuff like that. So, uh, but for right now, let's just talk strictly jigs. And um, so um, now, uh, trailer wise, um, a major part on uh, a jig is the trailer. Um, not only that, is also the skirt. The color, um, I t tend to stick with natural colors greens, browns, um, blacks. Uh, stuff like that. I don't really stray too far. Um, if I do, it's going to be black and blue. It's going to be a, a blue um, or a red. Uh, black and red um, is what I'm going to go to. But most of the time, I'm using uh, green pumpkins, watermelons, and pumpkins. As you can see, you got pumpkin, um, kind of a mix, uh, pumpkin and watermelon, another pumpkin one, and then green here, uh, black and blue, black and red, and then a green pumpkin as well, and then a brighter blue. Um, that's what I'm mostly going to be using. And then here you got another green pumpkin with some like 
uh, bright orange into it as well so you can change up your there's different different kinds of trailers you can use you can use um, the pit boss is a good trailer you can cut into a pit chunk although the pit chunk is now being made it's the same size as this here um, and I, they finally decided to make one I used to just cut them off all the time but um, they're making them now the, the 2013 um, rocket cross um, Berkeley has a lot of good baits uh, my favorite one of my favorite will is the chigger craw that's one of the best jig trailers you can get and I've caught so many on this uh, right here this is a great green pumpkin good color and blue sapphire I have as well um, craw fatty is a little big but I use it once in a while for those um, bigger jigs uh, craw fatty there um, pack of craws great um, on a green a green pumpkin again that's what I stick to most of the time is pack craws I like the baby ones a little bit better or the tiny than the baby um, they just fit better on the jigs here's oak oak chubby craw and pbj as well um rage craws amazing um they work really well as well um great um i suggest the baby ones um instead of the bigger ones they just get a little more action to them but i um the big ones work as just as well there's a little baby ones are smaller and then bruiser braids crazy craw wonderful 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 jig trailer right there um, and then you can go on to beaver baits like this um, the intruder by bruiser baits uh, bee bug by net bait and then uh, just some other beaver type baits um, those work well as jig trailers as well and then you can go to chunks and chunks have different all kinds of different kinds of chunks you got the zoom super chunk and then um, Here's the fat chunk thing by Zoom, whatever it's called, I forget. Then here's a KVD one. It's like a craw chunk. So, yeah, all different kinds of trailers. Um, that, that, you know, mix them up. Look, I got three whole boxes of jig trailers right here. Um, change up your trailers, and you're going to get different action off of each one. Um, that's the cool thing about it, because when I'm fishing a jig, I'm not getting something. I'm not getting a bite. I'll throw on a different trailer. I'll get a bite. Or I'm not working. You know, I, different days are different for me. So I always tend to... Uh, change it up um, and also talking about jig trailers as well you can get the texas rig jig from power team lures great um, diesel craw for those bigger jigs works really well you can throw on a, a tube a food chain tube um, works good and then uh, the best overall uh, one of my my second favorite is a craw derve small awesome finesse um, craw here perfect size for jigs um, summer craw green pumpkin um, raw craw delta destroyer black and blue um, just great um, so that's that's your options for trailers and now let's talk about some jigs that i got set out here for you and then we'll end this video and um, if you got any questions uh feel free to message me or if you want me to um give you i can't really show you um i wish i could go out in the water and show you how to make it to do jigs right now but it's just too cold and it's kind of hard when you only got one person to video so um here we're going to talk about some few jig setups that i have here is a bass patrol football head jig and a quarter ounce with a um quick limit uh power team lures quick limit um craw derve and what that is is a dark green with a flesh tone on the bottom with red flake in it and that's good because um on the way down you're gonna the bass are gonna see this flesh tone and then they see that dark green um you can also flip it over and just use the flesh tone and have the dark green on the bottom it's a great great jig right there um one you're gonna think i'm crazy for saying this but this is one of my most uh bass i catch the most bass on and that is a black and blue jig with a green pumpkin with a pumpkin seed trailer or a green pumpkin uh, and it's a jig uh, it's a it's a chunk. Um, bass love this. It's a good combination. The black and blue with the green pumpkin kills. Uh, get yourself one of that, one of them. Um, here's another. Uh, oh, you can also do jig alterations. Uh, I'll show that to you in a second here, but I'm gonna try to go through these real quick. Here's a black and uh, red jig, and then I got a raw craw craw derv on it. Great combination. That black and red. The red really enhances that jig. Um, black and blue again with a black and blue craw derv. Um, let's see my favorite best jig of all time caught the most fish on it is my strike king bitsy um, 
bitsy jig, a uh, flipping jig with a chigger crawl with crazy legs. Amazing. Um, this is only a 3 16th ounce, super small jig, as you can see, compared to the chigger craw, but it just kills. Uh, it's in a pumpkin color with a green pumpkin trailer. And this uh, kind of like craw kind of uh, jig here with a pit boss and watermelon. Great trailer again. Um, you got another Bitsy flipping with a uh, uh, intruder with summer craw. Those legs and appendages get flapping all over the place. Works really well. A Bass Pro Shops jig with uh, it's peanut butter and jelly with the peanut butter and jelly pack of craw. Great combo right there. Peanut butter and jelly always works. Um, Strike King football head jig with a Texas rig jig and green pumpkin from Power Team Lures. Great combination. Double skirt, so it's a little bit fatter, a little bit thicker. Um, great for winter. All these jigs are great for winter right now. So that if you see, I'll let you, um, I'll try to, you can pause the video and check out exactly what it is and get yourself a setup because all these are going to catch a fish this winter. Um, another Bitsy flipping jig pumpkin and green and then a pack of craw and summer craw so all these jigs i just showed you are all great for the winter and they're great all year round for me i i especially like them in the winter though um my number one is by far the chigger craw and the bitsy flipping so get yourself a setup of that um now we're going to show you a few modifications before we end this video and um here is one of them you can cut down the jig the wee guard here just at a diagonal cut so it does it bends easier and uh, doesn't and allows for a better bite here's another one that I did and then I think I got one more yep right here um, another thing you can do with the skirt is divide it in half like I did on this one and then cut cut it pretty short and then it creates a more finesse jig uh, that's really good for the winter especially with a uh, power team lures um, craw d'oeuvre a finesse craw on the back of that um, and then again, you can thin out and rag it up your uh, uh, jig skirt. I do that a lot. Um, here's one that I did, and as you can see, it kind of looks beat up. Um, not all the all the strands aren't the same length, makes it look different. Um, you can also shorten your skirt. I shortened this one up, um, and I, then I cut. What I did is I took the insides, the inside half of the skirt, and I shortened it. So now it's not as long as the outside, so it makes it look different. Um, yeah, so you can shorten it up. You can all different kinds of stuff. I usually trim the weed guards on a lot of mine because the weed, like this one, I have to trim. It's just too far. Um, it it's, makes it weedless, but it's hard to get hookups, and it's a thick weed guard. Oh, I also thinned out a weed guard. Which one is it that I thinned out? This one. You can also thin it out. See, you see where I can where I cut some off right there underneath my thumb underneath my finger you can cut some out and make it thinner so it's easier for hookups so that's what I got to talk to you about with jigs um, I jig fish a lot as you can see by my boxes I got a lot and I'm gonna be getting some more jigs I plan on making a tackle warehouse order soon at the end of this month or beginning of the season or be in sometime in January and I'm gonna get some uh, dirty jigs and North Star tackle jigs so um, look for that, and I'll be showing you what I get there. Um, I don't make too many alterations, but when I do, um, that's what I do. Um, that's what I fish with. These are my main setups here. As you can see, I showed you all of them, and uh, those are my main trailers. I do switch up trailers all the time. And uh, just change the colors up. Uh, don't fish the same jig a lot. If you get a lot of fish on it, then go for it. But it doesn't hurt to change it up. Um, so I hope this helps you, uh, jig fishing. And uh, if you got any more questions, let me know. And I'm going to be doing another video on swim jigs soon enough. So stay tuned for that. And there's some other great videos. Um, I'm supposed to be getting a mystery tackle box soon. So you'll see that as well. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, be safe fishing and have fun.